Before I make this video, I would just like to say that I have literally zero feelings for this chick, and I'm not making this because I'm upset that she did this, but in, in other words, I'm saying this, I'm telling you guys this story because it changed my life, and I thought it was kind of funny how it all played out and then, and how it, it was actually beneficial to me. So, here we go. Okay, so this is the story of how this chick broke up with me two days before homecoming, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, at, uh, not at the time, not at the time. At the time I was upset, I was mad. Um, I thought this chick was kind of cool. I mean, uh, we haven't been dating for like ever, so I didn't really know. It was just kind of getting started. So what happened was I was in swim one day, right? And I text before I go in a swim. I'm like, hey, is everything okay? Um, you seem kind of distant. We've been dating for like three weeks at this time. Um, I talked to her for like three months before we started dating. So it's been like almost four months now. Um, and got pretty close, like she was chill, right? So what happened was, while I was in swim, she sends me this huge long text, right? And it, it was saying like, hey, I, I, I'm breaking up with you, in short. And in this text, um, well, 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 first off, let me take you before this. So uh, it was the weekend before this. She broke up with me, I think, on a Thursday, which, uh, and then the dance was on the Saturday. So what happened was I was that Sunday, I went and got a brand new suit and even better, she even went with me to get this suit and getting ready to go to this dance, uh, brand new suit. It was a couple hundred dollars. So, I mean, I worked for that, that money. I mean, I work for what I have and that's the general gist of it. So I bought this expensive suit. Um, I'm ready to go to this dance. It's literally two days away. I was prepared for it. I was actually kind of excited about it because I've never been to like another dancer. I've actually never like gone with someone that hasn't just been my friend, um, which is kind of cool. Like I was like excited about this. Like we're gonna go to a nice dinner and stuff like that. But no, she sends me this text. She's breaking up with me. The reason she broke up with me is the best part. The best part. Like I love this part. I look too much like her ex. Say what? Which by the way was like, forever ago and then another great part about it was she was completely fine like she was a little bit distant but not weird like she would always send like heart emojis and stuff like that so i just kind of knew i just figured everything was okay like something might have been up with her like something in her personal life who knows right so she was completely fine she sent me a heart before this and i was like hey are you okay like you're seeming a little distant and then she sends me this huge long text and i'm sitting there like i get out of swim i read like the first little bit of it i'm like oh wow this kind of sucks so i'm a little bit upset because you know this is just kind of icing on the cake because i had a lot of other stuff going on too family stuff i was moving from my farm which i liked and i, I mean i love that place dearly um i'm gonna eventually be back there hopefully and then as well we were moving from my childhood home. We just sold it. It was kind of like, that was kind of like a heart hit here, hit my heart. I was kind of like a little bit down about that. I mean, I grew up there, right? I mean, I knew we had to move and I'm okay with it now. It's just at the time, it was kind of like a, just something that was, I mean, I had on my door, right? All of the, like my heights from every grade, it's kind of just made me a little sad right there. But besides the point, this is supposed to be like funny, serious type deal. So. What happened was she did that. So I was so frustrated. I went home and I was, and I walked in the door and I was just so upset. Like I was just mad, right? I took my keys and I chucked them like against the earth. I had something in my hand. I chucked them against the stairs. I was just like, oh, I'm done. I'm mad. I'm just pissed at the, at what was happening. Like I had so much stuff going on. This was just kind of icing on the cake. I was just kind of feeling like, Hey, really this kind of sucks. So, um, I actually got like, I was just kind of yelling at that point. I was like, I, my mom comes up and she's like, what in the hell is wrong? And I'm like, I'm just done. Like this happened, like I told her what happened. And then I was like, I'm not going to college. I just cannot stand to sit behind a desk and stuff. And then that's kind of like the point where I, my parents understood like, hey, he doesn't really, he really doesn't want to go to college. Like they were, they were kind of pushing for me to go and they were kind of like, hey, you should do this. And I was, I was just like, I'm done. Like, I'm not doing this. I cannot stand to sit there in a classroom. And I can't, I'm terrible, like in school. Like I cannot just sit there and concentrate. I literally sit and read on my phone, um, Elon Musk articles and stuff like that before I will even like touch a book, like read it. It's just terrible. I cannot stand it. But besides the point, this story has been told because it was just kind of like a really cool like outcome. Like I was, I'm now going, I'm pretty sure to a trade school where I'll learn how to do like 
HVAC or like welding or something like that. So that's gonna be amazing. Like that's something that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about just working with my hands and not having to worry about anything else. So the jokes on this chick, she, she actually made it like capable so that I could do this. So in all honesty, it was probably the best moment of my life because I'm not, I'm not gonna have to go and deal with college now which I really don't want to. I mean, it's not it's it's not for everybody. College isn't. So for me, it wasn't. And for other people, yeah, they're gonna see like greatly in it. It's gonna be amazing. Like my buddy, he's gonna go to the freaking MIT and be amazing. He's gonna do some awesome stuff. That's just not who I am. Like me, me, making videos, doing stuff with my hand. That is what I love to go do. I love to travel. I mean, not I, I don't love to travel, but I'm being more open to it, and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more. Um, so I pretty much made this video just having out a nice outcome and and this this check I would have probably done anything for her at that moment like two days later I'm like this is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me that this happened because now my parents understand and everybody understands what I'm where I'm gonna go in my life after this so it was super super cool and it was super funny that this actually happened thank you guys for watching this is Roger Tech and it, go down below right now hit that subscribe button that like button if you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much this is Rod Tech and I'll talk to you guys next time